Did you guys know Natsu got Lucy pregnant and the two had a baby in the fairy tale 100 year quest manga that's canon along with Grey and Juvia? Kind of? Let's talk about it. The tale begins in Edelus as the members of Fairy Tale are once more transported there. Thanks to the magical abilities of the white wizard Toka, Fairy Tale crosses paths with their counterparts. You see where this is heading. Before running into their counterparts and realizing this is Edelus, everyone is like, yo, what the fuck? I can't use any magic. And two seconds later, a little girl is running up to everyone yelling mama and proceeds to do so one more time as this little girl is looking directly at Lucy. The young girl's name is Nasha and her mother calls out to her afar as she makes her way over to the group. It's Edelus Lucy. At that moment, it becomes clear to everyone that they are an Edelus, which explains why no one can use any magic. And then we head back to Edelus Fairy Tale Guild, where everyone seems to be doing well. And Edelus Natsu greets everyone, and his daughter Nasha is quick to hug him and call him Papa, confirming him to be married to Edo Lucy and the father to Nasha. But let's be real, we saw that coming. I'll tell you what, it would have been a huge curveball if she ran to Gajio and called him Papa. I would have been like, what? The way these two made Nasha is simple according to Edo Lucy. The two was alone in a car and he came onto her strong and soon after Nasha came. These two are not the only new parents by the way. Grey and Juvia also have become members of the parents club as they now have a son named Grage. Also the unexpected relationship between Grage and Nasha also surprised the fuck out of me but I'll discuss that in one second. Upon hearing the news Grey and Lucy starts blushing intensely and I don't know for what they need to stop playing around and get to work with their own relationship. They slacken. Their Edelus versions manage to beat them. They have to realize by now it's fate. But finally, what I find amusing as hell is that the children of Edo, Natsu, and Grey end up causing their counterparts, our Earth, Natsu, and Grey, to have a conflict. And it's not due to a battle of strength or one trying to outdo the other as you would think. It's because Grage has developed a crush on Nasha. A crush out of all things. Even though this is an Edelus, I expect them to be at most friendly rivals or maybe just the closest of friends. But nah, Grage and Nasha's future might just be with each other for life. Natsu angrily grabs Grey because Grage has taken an interest in Nasha. And in response, Grey's just being a supportive stepdaddy fights back with Natsu urging him not to be so loud as it might frighten Grage. Comment what you guys think. Do you think it's a crush or do you think Grage is just shy? And that ends that and it just has me thinking how much fun it's going to be when they finally have children of their own on earth. I can't wait to see the competitions and fighting between the two and how they'll be as parents. Fairy tale next generation is coming after 100 year quest. Just watch. But what do you guys think though? How do you like Edo, Natsu, and Grey's kids? Can you imagine how strong their kid would be if they had magic like Earth? That's scary. Comment down below what the magic is going to be like for the next generation once the Earth versions have their kids. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like and sub button. It would help me out. And I'm going to see you guys on the next one.